I am currently living out of this tiny hut here on the EchoCraft server. And while this is aesthetic and for the most part it works, I am severely lacking in storage space. I don't have a super smelter, absolutely no villagers, or even a consistent food supply. I may have stolen these from my neighbor's skills. You guys get the point. This needs to change. In today's video, I will be building a massive pirate ship, modeled after one of the most famous boats in cinematic history, the Black Pearl. And let me just tell you guys, even when preparing for this video, I have learned more about ships and sailing and a lot of things that I never wanted to know about, so you're welcome. Well guys, I've collected a lot of resources. You can see we've got a bunch of spruce and also jungle and some oak logs in there. And that's what we're mainly going to be building this out of. But the first thing we need to do is go ahead and lay out our dimensions. So the Black Pearl is what's called an East India Man Galleon. And according to Wikipedia, the most trusted name in news, these ships were generally about 175 feet long or 116 blocks for us. The width, or what we call the beam is 43 feet or 29 blocks. The keel or the main length of the hull was 144 feet or 96 blocks. And from the bottom of the boat to the waterline, which is called the draft, that's 17 feet or 11 blocks. All you mariners down in the comments can get mad at me if I messed up anything. Well guys, you can start to kind of get a sense of how big this thing is actually going to be. And I know what some of you guys may be thinking. If every block is a meter or about three feet, then my measurements were completely off. Well that's because we're doubling it. When I first laid it out, it was far too small, so we're going twice as big. Starting off with some of these jungle planks, I'm just going to be trying to lay out generally how the shape is going to be. Like if you're looking from a top down view, it kind of looks like a torpedo. So I'm just going to be laying this out and we'll see if we can get the shape right. Yo, this looks epic. This looks just about perfect. That is awesome. And I know what you're thinking. It doesn't go all the way to the edges of the width or the back or the front. Well, first of all, the front has a big prow. And also the way the boat is designed is that the sides kind of come up so they actually expand when they go out of the water. It's hard to explain, just trust me. I think what the next step is, is we're actually gonna have to dive down under the water here and we're gonna need to build the hull. It's gonna, of course, taper to a point which of course cuts through the water as it sails. Ow, I'm dying. But this part here is gonna be really hard if we don't have a conduit and we don't have sponges. The good thing is, I've got friends who can help with that. Oh guys, it's my lucky day. Looks like Skills has got some sponges. This is why you should always be nice to your neighbors, okay? That's all I'm saying. Hey man, you're working on the boat now? The ship? I am indeed. Your ship? Very nice. Here you go, my friend. Oh, thank you, man. I really need Literally that. yesterday, I went to an ocean monument. Nice. Just for you. Just for me. Just for you. Awesome. Well, thank you, man. And I'm, I'll, I'll put them to good use and I'll bring them back. Actually, you, you keep it. I'm not going to be needing it anytime soon. All right, cool. Have fun with with your uh, beetroot. From what I can tell from omniscient Google, it looks like a lot of these ships have like a lighter color on the underneath. So I think I'm gonna use oak logs for the bottom of the hole. Let's just break those apart a little bit. You know, I also forgot that for a conduit, we kind of need Nautilus shells. I think we've got some over here at this shop. So let's check that out. Yep, here we go. We got some Nautilus shells. So we got five total. We just need three more. And that is number eight, baby. I also got this beastly enchanted book. Like, what the heck? Also, because he's a lad, Skills went ahead and sold me a Heart of the Sea so we could make the conduit. My man, what a legend. Look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. And because he knew where a monument was, he went ahead and got me Prismarine, too. Aww. All right, baby, here we go. We got our conduit coming in. Heck yeah. I think I'll just probably place it, like, right under here. I'm not actually going to put it on the bottom of the ocean because that'll be too far away. Ow. Jerk. There we go, conduit is finished, and I've only got one bubble. Also, it just killed him. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot they could do that. But this is gonna be really difficult, guys. I'm not very good at curves and stuff, but I think it'll work out all right. You know, fingers crossed. At this point, this whole thing looks like the skeleton of a whale or something. I was trying to get it to come down to like this point and I think it worked pretty well. So it looks like the bottom of a boat that's like cutting through the water, you know? Like, look at that curve. That is a beautiful boat curve. <whistles> Only problem is I'm already like completely out of oak logs and I have no more in any of these. So I'm gonna take this empty shulker right here and we're gonna go find a plains biome and do some deforestation. You know, I also wonder if there's any slimes actually in this slime chunk that we've been mining out. We mined this out a couple days ago. Yep, okay, there we go, perfect slimes. I was getting a little worried because I hadn't seen any. Well, I mean, this looks like as good a place as any. Fellas, why would you show up? I literally just got here. Why Why do you do these things to me? And my sword just broke. Don't worry, it sucked anyway, but still annoying. Well, what can I say, guys? It certainly looks like a boat. And there is a lot of fish around here. What the heck? 
Shaping the underside of this thing was really hard because I'm not very good at natural curves, but I think it ended up looking pretty good. Plus, it's all under the water, so anybody that sees it won't be able to get the whole picture of it anyway. Well, you guys can see that the entire hole is finished of our boat. I think the shape of it looks really good, and we're gonna be able to get at least one deck under there. But as you can tell, we have a bit of a water problem, so we're gonna need to whip out those sponges that Skills gave us, and we'll start getting rid of the water. Here's the funny thing. Skills only gave us four sponges, so that doesn't leave a lot of room for error. I swear to you guys, I must have smelted those four sponges sponges like 80 times. Let me just say it's a lot quicker to place them than it is to smelt them. The longer I work on this, the more I think this is gonna take a while to come out. I mean, it takes more than a stack of blocks just to run the length of this thing, but I've killed way too many drowns to quit now. We're gonna more or less leave this part alone for now. The interior will come later, but that's gonna be a lot of work on its own. You may be wondering what this big box right here is. That's actually our conduit chilling right there. And I've left it there and you can see there's actually still water inside so that if I go anywhere outside the boat, I instantly get conduit power. You can't tell me that doesn't sound like something from anime. One thing I 100% am gonna do is light up this whole thing because I have had a lot of mobs already spawn in here. And let's just say that would be annoying while I'm trying to work. Now, huge props where it's due. I got a lot of inspiration for this build from this guy named The Big Baron. I've linked his YouTube channel in the description and there should be a card somewhere on the screen. But this guy's an amazing builder and here are some of his builds I'm showing right now. And one of the big things I noticed about his ships is that they almost always had some sort of color accenting the sides of it. So I'm headed off to the Mesa biome so we can get some terracotta to build this. So in this build, the plan is to use red terracotta, blue terracotta, a little bit of light blue terracotta, and then also some sandstone, which I picked up on the way home. The four food groups of our galleon, if you will. Well, I've got ahead return skills beacon, and as you can see in this chest right here, we've got four shulkers full of terracotta, and then we've also got some sandstone, because someone in the Discord mentioned that sandstone would look good, and I agree. It was here that I kind of got to a point that I was like, you know what, I just need to start placing blocks. Because if I try to deliberate forever on how it's going to be perfect, I'm never going to get it done. I also found this cool little cannon design on Google. And despite my uneasiness, I was able to start actually kind of getting the shape of the boat. Of course, as you'll see, a lot of this does change. But my advice to people who are doing big builds like this, just start it and you can always go back and change things later. Dudes, this place is really coming along, but I'm thinking I'm really gonna need some help, so I'm about to call in some backup. But first, I wanted to add this deck here with all the cannons on it, just so we kind of have somewhere to walk on, because right now it's pretty much just the outline that we can really land on. The first person I'm gonna rope into helping me is actually gonna be Soli. Okay, Sif, you asked for assistance for something. I did ask for help, yes. You just come over a little hill here. Holy moly! Yeah. Look at this! <laughs> it's a little big. I'm struggling. Wow. The whole shape of it is kind of coming along. It's also kind of not. So the idea is that we're going to have this big boat, right? And I'm going to have you... Ship. Ship. It's a ship. So what kind of ship are you going for? Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a, some sort of ship of the line, 16th century... Soli was an amazing help here. I honestly don't think this build would have turned out half as good without his help. You can see how he's kind of reshaping it and making it how it's supposed to be. We kind of threw out a lot of my stuff. And we even had some fun with creepers spawning in the bottom of the boat. And yes, of course we named it the Build Creeper. <laughs> oh no, he's on me now. Okay, and turn around. Oh yeah, man. It's so comically large. It, it dwarfs this mountain, honestly, man. <laughs> it's gonna be freaking huge. Again, huge thanks to Soli for coming over and helping me out. I think what I'm gonna do next is actually connect this part up right here. I'm gonna kind of create what Soli did at the front, just all the way around the back here, and I fell off. And then I'm gonna nominate Chief for the draft and get him in here. I have not touched my mouse and keyboard in a while. This is <laughs> weird. Chief, thank you for being willing to help me. I, I'm in desperate need of help. Man. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I'm here for the job. It's large. That, that's all I have to say. Just follow me. All right. All right. Stay low to the ground. Don't spoil the surprise. Amen. And then fly through these. Yo. Yo. Yo, dude. So, okay. My first comment. It's a little big. And I love it. How on earth did you get the resources for this babe of a boat? So, I, I yeah. really need help with both the masts and I would say also maybe this back. Love it. Well, I'm, I'm going to say that, you know, this is a big project. Man. I don't know. Like, the squid normally, he will go to a creative test world to uh, kind of hash these out. So, I think that's where we're going to need to go next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely down with that. So, let's, uh, uh, let's yoink it. Yoink and twist. So, my method right now is going to be sculpt it. So, I'm going to get the bulk dimensions out. Me and Chief, <clears throat> mostly Chief, were able to create quite the ornate mast. 
And this one we're designing together was only the big middle one. How am I screwing this up? Okay, 138, what is wrong with me? I, math wins again. Unfortunately, Chief wasn't able to hang out very long, but I was able to build that mast on EchoCraft. Since Chief wasn't available, I just went for it and designed the other two masts as well. Although they look exactly like the first one, they're just a little shorter. But hey, if it ain't broke. Before we even try to tackle the sails and everything, what I think I'm gonna do is this back part right over here. You can still see into it, but Soli did help us get the shape really well. So all we need to do is kind of build the outside of it and then we'll get the inside later on. Oh, and if you guys didn't notice, I went ahead and added the cannons on the top deck as well. So we've officially got a one, two, three, four, a 40 gun ship. That's actually more than I thought it was. Wow. Listen guys, I understand that Mojang tried to give us scaffolding, but nothing will ever beat dirt in my mind. I mean, especially, come on, you're working on the side of a ship, like you can't use scaffolding that they give you in the game. I really wanted this back part to be fancy, but also just kind of to match the prow because the prow also has a lot of sandstone in it. We've kind of got some walkways going around either side as well, so you can be outside and go outside when you're in the captain's quarters. I also realized we had way too much space between the top deck and the next deck below, so I went ahead and kind of split it right down the middle and added another deck in there. This place is a complete mob trap, by the way. Oh my gosh! Those freaking bilge creepers, man. I don't know what I did to the door. Big no. And I'm stuck in a loop. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. So guys, at this point, when I'm looking at this, there's one thing I'm noticing that's really missing. Well, of course, the sails and everything, but what I'm missing is this part right here, this beam. I don't know what it's called. Give me a second. Well, I still don't know what it is, but I'm too lazy to figure it out. Bow spread. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's right up here at the prow of the boat, and it, like, sticks out, and there's, the like, the headpiece right in the front here and all that stuff. Figure head. I don't know about y'all, but I'd say that looks pretty good as a prow. We're just gonna call it the prow because I have no clue what the actual thing is called. Bow spread. Skills just knocked me off my thing. What the heck, man? I went too hard. Brother, where, where'd you go? And finally, after all of this, in the middle of building, I ran out of spruce wood. I mean, I have this 10 in my hotbar, but that's about it. Oh, and huge shout out to Soli again, because you remember that creeper that I died to? Well, yeah, I actually lost a couple things, and he helped me get it back. Did you build this, like, is this like a, like a schematic? Did you just come up with this thing? I just came up with this thing. You want me to swab the deck? Uh, Hey, yes. Captain. I... I'm the swabber this side of the entire Atlantic. They hired me on a black barrel for this exact thing. I am the deck swabber. Arr. Uh, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Okay, With yeah. Your plans for the ship, uh, are you think, is this gonna be like, is this gonna be like a really clean looking, like polished ship? Or is this gonna be a little bit dingy, like sea weathered ship? For the most part, it looks pretty crisp. Yeah, let's say that. So I'm, I'm going for more of the clean ship. I'll, I'll lay off on the texturization to be too much, right? Okay. Like we wanna get, some dark spots to make it look like there's a little bit of water that's come aboard. Don't worry. Okay, I'm not worrying. Voila, a life of both. Can I just say I've spent an unnatural amount of time on this build? But brandy has been a huge help. He helped me with the deck and everything, and it looks great. All these details with the little spruce splashed in here. It's so good. We even got this part right over here. This is probably my favorite part of the boat at this point. So as you can see, we got two little lifeboats here. And we've also got a crane here, like Brandy suggested. And we've got stuff going up in barrels. They're all strapped down so we can get a bunch of them up at once. This thing honestly looks so cool. Guys, I am so excited about how this thing is turning out. Holy cow. And we even got a little anchor there. Now, you can see that man right there. Skills. My man is going to help me out with the sails. What's up? My man. All right, so uh, it's changed a lot, but there's only one more thing left to do, Skills. What is it? The sails. Could use some help with sails. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I just realized what is happening here. Now what I'm thinking is we'll just do it out of straight wool because we've got a lot of wool. Oh, tons of it. I have no words. This was by far the most difficult part of this entire build. <laughs> oh, mine was so disgusting. I, I'm making a pillow. I don't know what's happening over there. 
After a while, I even had to go into creative and design the sails myself, just so that I could go back onto EchoCraft and copy them onto the server. And as I'm looking at this footage, I had a run in with a creeper that I never knew was there. Guys, believe it or not, I think that is everything complete. So let's take off and see. Holy cow, that looks freaking amazing. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think I should do some sort of design on the sails, and if so, what should that be? Maybe just colors? Or if you think we should just leave it white, because I'm kind of in favor of that, mostly because it's very hard. I gotta say, this has probably been the most work in Minecraft I've put into a project in a long time. But I really think it's paid off, and I hope you guys think so too. So as the sun sets on another episode of EchoCraft, I just want to say, Arr! And I'll catch you on the next one.